In the exclusive member-only video last week, I shared three of my favorite exhibitions on view right now that all happen to have Xerox warnings. When I say Xerox warning, I'm referring to a piece of paper that is usually eight and a half by 11 inches taped outside of the gallery exhibition or to the door that offers you a, a pretty honest and practical warning about what you're about to see. Uh, and has the effect on me of high levels of anticipation. If there has to be a warning on the door that was slapped there at the last minute, probably due to a complaint or someone who did something wrong, then you know that exhibition is going to be great. And this week, all three have Xerox warnings. The first asks you to put on hand sanitizer before you enter. The second pleads with you not to sit in the chairs because they are not chairs. And the third asks you to watch your head and your feet as you walk throughout the exhibition. And the coolest one between me and you was Mitchell Carbonu at Off Paradise Gallery. So here's that clip. Share this only with your coolest friends. Next, we're jumping down to Tribeca to a secret gallery called Off Paradise. First, I'm gonna show you how to get into to the building. So you go to 120 Walker Street. There's no signs, but you can walk straight into that door, into the elevator, and you push 5R, which will bring you up to Off Paradise. Now, while the last exhibition had a Xerox warning to put on hand sanitizer, thus inviting you to touch the sculpture, this gallery is the exact opposite. It has multiple warnings for you not to touch or sit on the sculptures. And so, and so when you enter a gallery with this many warnings not to touch the artwork, you know the temptation is going to be very strong, and my level of anticipation goes through the roof. This artwork, it's by the artist Mitchell Carbonu. He's only 27 years old, and nothing in the gallery is real. All of the chairs are made out of cast resin. So they are fragile to touch, certainly fragile to sit in, so please keep your distance. So what he does is takes a real metal folding chair, smashes it with a sledgehammer, casts it in resin, and then positions them to make these really interesting human interactions of those chairs. So they can feel super playful. A couple of these remind me of fighting siblings. This one is my favorite, perhaps because I empathize with it the most. It just feels really lonely. Well, these two are certainly the sexiest in the entire room, all made out of painted cast resin. And then on the walls are air fresheners made out of painted bronze. So number one, they don't smell at all. And number two, even the thread and the nail is made out of painted bronze. And then, by far, the most clever part of this exhibition, the moment that made me smile the most, is a final work of art in the back office here. It's titled Wall Support, also made entirely out of cast resin. And if you get close, even the screws in it are cast resin. 